Hello. What's up, Mario? Random video right now. Got this. Got this box. It's a very big box. So I thought I would open it live. I know who it's from, but really cool stuff. So let's see what's inside. I don't do unboxing videos. I'm no Jacques Slade, but what's in here is pretty cool. So I thought I'd do it this way for once. I need to work on my paper tearing game. We have some cool stuff in here. Let's start with the heavy hitter. Oh shit. Can that even like register? 36? Well, it's the Jordan 36. That's super cool. I like this air logo they're doing here, like the semi half with the I and like the half R. Very cool. What's in the box? What's in the box? Brad Pitt's most famous question of all time, right? What's in the box? I, can, I can't open the box. Oh, it's Velcro, okay. So I just tried to pull it out the front here. It doesn't work that way. These are a Velcro. Look at that, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Opens up that way. I did not know that. Enjoyable. Oh! Not bad. I'll have to double check if this is somebody's PE or something. But you got the Air Jordan 36 in a beautiful white, black, and red. White, red, and black. I have not held a 36 in hand yet. This is my literal first impression. So, hot take. There's a, a foam back to it so you don't scratch the back. So this pops off, that's interesting. Swoop. And you have a pull tab back there. That's pretty cool. You know what, I'm gonna pull out no, I'll save that for later. Tune in later. I'll have a pair of sixes here next to the 36. I have a whole video planned with the 33, 34, 35, 36. So we'll go like all the recent retros, not retros, performance Jordan models in a row. But this shoe is interesting already. So I have a pair of 34s. This plate right here is nothing new that gap, but there's really interesting texture throughout. Huh. And what I mean by that is it's kind of nubbed here on this black part. It feels really cool to the touch. It's also ribbed in this clear part here. This white liner part here also feels really crazy. There's like a little, what would you call that, stingray pattern? Stingray on the ankle or the collar? It's not carbon fiber. I mean, there's definitely carbon fiber in this shoe, but I've never felt a textile here feel that way. Very, very interesting. Very light, man. I can't stress enough. Like, this shoe just feels super light. Almost like I can't comprehend how light it is. In a good way. Huh. So, Nike Air branding. I'm trying to get better lighting on it. Nike Air branding on the back. You have Nike Air here, if you couldn't see it very clearly. It says 36 on this pool tab. Nike Air on the back. 
than like a plastic Jumpman tab here. What's my favorite sneaker? Probably the 2K4 Hirachi. You have the iconic Jordan 6 kind of lace cover here that doesn't clip. It doesn't buckle in, like buckle that way, which I greatly appreciate. I'm gonna show these off way more, way, way, way more in an upcoming Inside Robbie's Closet, so stay tuned. But just initial in-hand response is that I like these. These are super technical, super cool. I'll put these side by side with the Zion 1 too. So we'll go Zion 1, Jordan 36, a pair of 6s. Then we'll go 35, 34, 33. And we'll look at like the recent evolution of how we got here. But man, even just this traction pattern feels bananas. I like how the flight plate isn't so pronounced back here. Huh. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. More to come on that. There's two more shoes in here, though. So three pairs. Thank you, Jordan Brand, for sending me these. Much, much appreciated. You know this box. One of Jordan Brand's greatest hits. On Friday, we're dropping a My Starting 5 centered around Air Jordan 5. So tune in for that. I noticed one of them, so this one has a red Jumpman, and this one has a white Jumpman. And they are both the same shoe, interestingly enough. They've been doing this with the Jordan 4, which I think is really cool. This has your traditional Jordan 5 box, nothing crazy. This is black and white, and has black and white speckle on the box throughout here. Throughout here. Very cool. I think we're going to do this pair first since I dropped the white and black one. That might be a dead giveaway what shoe it is. But we open it slowly. What is it? Drama. This is a polarizing Jordan. This might not be for everybody. The Orange Blaze, AKA Shattered Backboard, AKA Not Premium Premium 5, AKA Not $450 Price Tag 5. But a very clean, the Nick Engvall. Yes, Andrew, the Nick Engvall special. Unfortunately, these are a size too small for him. But the Orange Blaze Jordan 5. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get more close to you guys. I'm going to get intimate. I'm going to get this light closer. So I can shine. Oh, a little too bright. A little too aggressive on the lighting. Let's see what we can do here. Still too aggressive. It's a little better. So I want to try to show off that net pattern. It's not. It feels net. No lie. It feels like the lab. The One Lab 4. Jordan 1 Lab 4. These look way better than the One Lab 4. Do not get that. Do not get that confused. But just touching it and feeling it, it has no give in a good way. So this is not loose mesh. This is tight. This is attached to the collar. The pronounced ankle protection, which I like, it is orange behind there. So that means that this netting is translucent enough so you can see the orange a little bit there. Sorry, my first time holding these. I'm actually ingesting the shoe. I do like how they kept the black metallic or white metallic slap right here. I do like that a lot. I like it because that's the defining mark of the Jordan 5. Obviously, the teeth itself are the design cue, but I think silver with black speckle. It looks the best. Great contrast. I'm holding it from here. This material is not bad. Let me take, you gotta love how the Jordan 5, they protect your 3M. I think it's a, next, it's a nice execution on the Jordan 5 also. Whoever just said that, I agree with you. So, 
not a bad material. I'm trying to have my shitty light be less shitty. But it feels very good. The shape of it's nice. I've had some recent Jordan 5s where it's like a box at the top. You could throw green laces on here. Do they come with black laces or do they come? I don't think they come with alternate laces. I don't know about anybody else, but I have a bag that's full of shoelaces. So I definitely have a fitting pair. Oh, my black metallics have white laces in them. So I can just do that. I'm gonna loosen these up a bit. Show you guys what I'm doing. I do not like lace locks on my Jordan 5. They will sit in the box. These come out on the 2nd. So this Saturday you can cop these from the sneakers app. You can cop them from your local mom and pop store. Your local big store. Big chain retailer. But loosened up. It's a very traditional 5, man. The only thing different is the tightness and the feel of this mesh here and the mesh around the collar. A lot of people are hooting and hollering like, oh, this is not a good five, or that's just not how five should be. Yada, yada. Plastic eyelids, still good. This is how a five should be. I also hate the stickers. This is me ripping out the sticker. These, these size stickers, I hate when people press them into the shoe and keep wearing it. Drives me nuts. It makes me want to not buy your shoe if you're selling it on eBay. But translucent outsole, Jumpman, 1990s finest. That you, a lot of people listening to this might have been born in 1990. Jumpman on the heel. Very clean. This sale off-white color looks very good. Very, very clean. Very nice shoe. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I keep staring at these, though. I keep looking, I keep looking at these. Now I'm a little closer. I can show you that tongue a little better. Damn, that looks good. I know what this is called. It's not, oh, it's like exo-weave or x-weave or something. I know what it is, just I did not expect to go live right now. So I will do my research before the actual video comes. I just want to try an unboxing. But this weave material is so thin, you can see my fingies, right? You can see my fingers. Bam! That's crazy. That's super cool. The shoe looks very elegant in hand. Thank you for showing it live. My pleasure. God, that metallic red. Oh, that looks good. And I like how they broke up the heel a little bit too. So it's not just a solid line going through. Man, that Stingray print gives you a little Drake OVO vibe. That looks good. I'm staring at this part of the shoe with you. So we're all just looking together. Damn, that's nice. Thank you, Jordan Brand. I appreciate this gift. More to come. Tons of Jordan content coming up. So we have the 36, we have the Shattered Backboard 5. Last but not least, we have the XX Extension Jordan 5, aka the Moonlight, <coughs> aka the Oreo. I'm taking it in first before I talk about it. This material is not the same as the past Oreo. That's not a bad thing. Just quick observation, it's different. This is in line with like your 2016 black cement. Why did I say black cement? Black metallic Jordan 5. Materials are right in line with that. White and black outsole, nothing crazy. Very well done. I'm gonna put it next to this Jordan 5 though. Right, so the collar, obviously a little different. 
than what we have going on here material wise netting versus not netting the forefoot is netted the same though just a little different i'm not even sure i like this more it's what i'm used to it's the familiar i didn't think i would like this tight this tight stuff i almost said tight shit I didn't think I like this tight shit so much until I saw it in hand. When I first saw it, I thought it looked bad. Just straight up, not a good looking shoe. Then I saw some on foot photos and I said, yes, sign me up. Now that I have them in my own hands, it is a big fat yes. Stance is a little bit different too, that's funny. So they're both size 12. They sit a little differently. The white is a little more boxy. Interesting. The Oreo sits a little bit higher too. Very, very interesting, sir. I love the Jumpman on the back. I think particularly on the five, it looks great because the Nike Air on this back panel sits really thick, especially on like the recent 2020 um, white fire red Jordan 5 retro. It's so big on the heel. Oh, okay. Interesting thing. So the lace lock on this pair says Nike Air, but it again has Jumpman on the heel, but it says Nike Air on that. The Oreos, aka Moonlights, that came out last weekend. That's the same shoe has a Jumpman. So Moonlight with a Jumpman on it. Very interesting that the shattered backboard has Nike Air. Inside does not say Nike Air. They both say Jumpman on the inside. Oh. These Moonlights are a 12, okay. Correction. This Moonlight is a half size up. This is a 12 and a half. This is a 12. That's why the sizes look a little bit different. Thank you, Jordan Brand, for sending the holy size. 12 and a half is the hardest shoe size to find. This is a 12 and a half. Beautiful. Not mad about it. These are both going on foot. Very excited. Stay tuned. I'll be showing more of these in Friday's episode. I believe tomorrow night I'll go live with a 36 breakdown and a look back at the line's recent lineage. But thanks for tuning in with me on short notice. I had some wine at dinner. Don't mind me. We're just having a good time. Moonlight, Shattered Backboard, Jordan 36, Infrared. Great shoes. Already came out. I see people posting photos of these at like Foot Locker in their local areas. Go buy a pair. Mix it up. They're nice. These come out this week. I don't think this colorway has come out yet, but the 36 is available. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day.